Good afternoon my lovelies and welcome to a very overcast but mild Wednesday morning and as you can see the snow's gone uh, I'd like to firstly apologise for not posting a video yesterday um, basically because when I got up yesterday morning because the snow had thawed on Tuesday and then we had an awful hard frost Tuesday night Wednesday morning was awful it was so dangerous underfoot and I thought well I'm not going to take Miss Lou out because when you've got eight stone of Alaskan Shepherd dragging you to every snow pile to bury a head possible one or both of us is gonna fall and hurt ourselves so apologies for not doing a video yesterday so how are we all feeling I hope we're looking after ourselves and I hope we're keeping an eye on everybody else Just be a bit careful here it is slightly slippy we'll walk on the grass that's better um, yes I hope we're all okay Um, I'm starting to get a bit fed up now. I mean, I moan when I'm at work and I haven't had any time off. But then, when I've got time off, I moan because I'm bored. Um, I've woke up this morning and thought it was Thursday and it's not, it's Wednesday. So, I thought, well, I need something to chivvy myself up a little bit. You know. So, I've decided to make a slight effort you know put a bit of lippy on before we go out make yourself feel better try and get organized with your jobs and stuff try and be busy because if you're busy your day goes quick and you're not mooching about really are you feeling bored and sorry for yourself So yesterday, Boris, dear Boris, um, gave the awful news that 100,000 people had died from COVID in the last 12 months. And that's just awful. It really is. It's, it's an awful thing to happen for people. To lose loved ones, anyway, is bad. But 100,000 people, probably more. It's not good. And to be honest with you, we, we all really need to pull together and help each other out and not be silly. You know, wear our masks when we're out. Only stay in our bubbles. Don't go out unless you absolutely have to. It is, it's a sad state of affairs. But if people don't try and people don't obey the laws, then we'll never beat it. We'll never, ever, ever beat it. And we will always be stuck with it. So come on, people. Do your bit. Where's your British stiff upper lip? I know we're all bored and fed up. But come on, let's all pull together. Let's try and beat it. Let's try and get it done and out the way. So that we don't have to go through this for another 12 months. Because I don't know about you guys, but I certainly can't do this for another 12 months. I mean, okay, yes, I'm lucky. I'm, I'm working. I have to get up every day and go to work. But there are people out there who are furloughed. There are people out there who are vulnerable and can't go out. And they're probably climbing the walls. So come on, 
pull ourselves together, let's get ourselves sorted out and let's beat this virus because it really really needs to be sorted out now. It's not good. Go on, this way, this way. And the far too many people have died because of this. So that's our maudlin section sorted. Do you know, I've come down this back lane because it's quiet. There's not many people use it and every man and his dog is out today. So, we'll just trundle our way up here um, and hopefully we'll find a quiet place. We can have a little chat, listen to some birdies and then me and, me and Miss Lou will make our way along. Robin singing. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? Isn't that beautiful to hear a robin singing? I was hearing blackbirds this morning singing his little head off. I think he thinks spring is on its way. See, and that's the beauty of Mother Nature. She has so much to offer us and so much to show us. And so much that we could use. But we either choose to ignore it Or we choose to abuse it. Squirrel gone racing across there. Oh. And I think that's an awful shame if, if you know, we. Oh, there's another one. Look, another squirrel running across the road. You know that we choose to ignore the beauty that Mother Nature has to offer us, but then in the same token, choose to abuse it. And then we wonder why we've got polluted seas and bad ozone layers because well, us as humans are awful, we're awful people. We don't look after everything that we've got and we should. Oh, come on. Are we finished? Come on then, this way. I'm not looking at this grass bank. We choose to not look after things, to not cherish things. 
and I enjoy sitting out in the garden in the summer months, early in the morning, listening to the birds. Miss Lou, have you finished? Look at the state of your head now. Come on, this way. So yeah, we, we, if you want to hear birds singing in the morning, we need to look after stuff. We don't need, don't ignore it, sit and enjoy it. Sit in your garden, sit in the woods, in, uh, and listen to the dawn chorus and listen to how beautiful it is. Go out for a walk in the woods. You know, you'd be surprised what you see if you're quiet. I mean, just in this little spinny, and this is a back road. Just in this little spinny, the amount of birds I can hear. Oh, and there's robins calling, there's blue tits calling. So, this weekend, I know it's only Wednesday, but this weekend, why don't we all go out into the woods and sit quietly and listen, and listen to the birds and see what other animals we can see. Believe me, Mother Nature is a wondrous, wondrous thing. She has so much to show us and so much to share that it's a shame we ignore it. Because Monday is in bulk. So that, that is like the first showings of spring is on its way so that's a good enough excuse to get out into the woods into your local nature reserve and just look for signs of spring and just enjoy it and just feel at one with nature So, on that note, me and Miss Lou are going to love and leave you. So as always, look after yourselves, take care of each other, and I'm sending you much love and many blessings.